Welcome back everyone. Today we will be playing a game that I'm sure absolutely no one has heard of before and is made by the same people who made uh, the Stanley Parable. So I'm hoping that this will be a fun experience. Let's check up options real quick. Tough quality cardboard, copper, gold, emerald, sensitivity, languages, these are all the languages it supports. Music sounds great, by the way. Start game. Let's do it. You don't have to press C to crouch. Loading heist map. Turn to control paths. More or less playing this because school is getting to me. Hello. Tiger is the okay, something about a tiger. One minute. Break a leg, everybody. Positions, please. One second, please. Hold, hold your first position. There's somebody at the door. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, one second. Can we get a precise location on the player, please? Uh. Right. Okay. Hi. So this is this is so this is a bit um this is a bit awkward. I think it's probably best if we're just really honest with each other. It's uh, it, yeah, it's 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 a bit awkward. Um the thing is, the game you've just downloaded, somebody is playing it right now. So you can't you can't you can't you can't play it. I'm I'm really sorry. Yeah, this is uh yeah, this is quite inconvenient. I don't know. I don't know why this keeps happening. Sorry, we're generally quite organised. You should come inside. I'll explain. Uh, just through here. Here's the thing: the game's live, which makes it impossible to to insert you, and also it's it's it's, it's just quite difficult now for you to leave. But I think it's okay. I I I know I I know what to do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and call publicity and liaisons, and we should be able to take you to the green room. All right. If you just wait here. Uh, and yeah, we'll be able to get you in. All right, let me just let me just find the number here. Okay, it's ringing. Uh, Someone will pick up. Oh, they hung up. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try that again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm sorry. I know. I know. We've both got better things to be doing with our lives. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, I know what's going on. We've got um, something of a strike sort of situation emerging. Yeah, we've be we've become quite understaffed. Actually, you wouldn't um, mind doing me a favour, would you? Come, come through here. I could really, I could, I could really use your help. But if you'd rather, if you'd rather wait here, I, I could just let you know when we're ready for you. It's, it's, it's just, coming. you know, why miss out on this opportunity, right? There's no hope. Bad enough. Come Very back. few players get to visit here. Let's see, car chase. Can't sprint. The thing is, our entire weather department and half the wildlife crews did up to the left before we could even begin this morning. And it's all super simple. It's mostly buttons. You like buttons, right? And you'll be able to play the game as soon as whoever is in there at the moment is finished. Promise. Your help? Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, this way. Yeah, the lighting department's right through here. Don't don't worry about the strike. It's we'll we'll get through it. Mm. 
Sure, okay. He's pulling some of the magic, you know. It feels a bit like cheating, but, you know, it's okay. You carry on. You do whatever you need to do. Interesting. This has been so alias attractions. The game is free, by the way. Right. First things first, could you bring up the lights? Thank you so much. Because, you know, we kind of feel playing in the dark. And they fall over. And it, you know, they could die. Ugh, you don't even know what secondary interruptive means, do you? I mean, neither do I, but you're the one who pressed it. I still need you to pull the lighting lever, though. That, that would be ideal. Yeah, just now. It's the, could you, um, maybe not do that? Please. It became more interesting. I can't let you in there. Sorry. It's it's very complicated. Health and safety. It's shelves. It's just there's a lot of shelves. Come on, let's get the lights up. <laughs> there it goes. Little lights blinking on in the windows of the mansion, up past the ornamental ponds. Pretty magical, really. Okay, now we need to attack them with a tiger. It, it, it's a heist game. The player's playing a big heist. I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's, the tiger's very important. It's in the title. All right, into wildlife preparation. Who switches a switch that says unknown? Who flicks the unknown switch? Look, um, poor switch choices aside, we really need to keep going now. There's a sort of a, there's some unique time pressure in the next room. That's all fun. Right, this is all... It's so safe. We'd usually have someone else do this, but they started striking right after one of them got. Well, that's not... That's, I shouldn't know. Just, just pull the lever and, and let's say... Introduce the tiger to the level. <laughs> you should pull the tiger lever. Oh no, oh no, not that, not that door. There's a... Look, there's a far more pressing concern in the room and it's growling. There's an actual tiger in this room. An actual tiger. Like, it's about four feet away from you. No, I don't want to cause alarm. But it's a tiger. No! No! It's okay. Cool. Stand down. We need to actually release the tiger before the recovery crew could do anything. You know? <laughs> perfect. That went perfectly. Look, the tiger's inside the level. We need to make sure it doesn't, you know, eat everybody. Could you hit the red button to send the retrieval team? It's the it's the button. I think it's by the doors of the weather room. We just can't leave the tiger in the level. We tried that one. And I hate all the birds. And then the head of the little statue on the fountain. <laughs> and then and then Trevor. Look, just please press the button. Okay, fine. Oh, they actually meant to do it this time. The tiger's out in the level. Okay, go. They're on the move. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to work out where you're going to be most useful. I don't think we have anybody left in catwalks, do we? Oh, we do. What the hell happened to the ceiling? Wow, I can't believe it. I guess weather control then. The door's just over there. What's doing your... Oh, I hate this room. This hasn't been easy, you know. During our second performance, a pipe burst in here and flooded the whole garden level. The player got stuck on the uh, on the roof of the summer house. All right, okay, the script calls for a storm. Let's make it rain. It's the red valve on the pipe next to the door. Gently. A lot of the story relies on there being a storm. It's, 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 a, it's a big part of Act 3. No? Listen, really, it's okay. Don't worry about what I told you about the flood. We've had 235 non-fatal performances since then. No, 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 too much. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's a button below the fan that sorts out the thunder and lightning. Could you do the lightning? It's a really nice effect. It really is. Oh, it might be wired up wrong. I'm sorry, that room gets back down. Now I think about it, it might have been safe. Oh no, there it is, there it goes. You've got a picture of the building lit up by these big flashes of lightning. It's really imposing. The set's massive. Oh, 
speaking of, the player has apparently entered the mansion through the orangery and is. They're going to use the lift. Okay, that's okay. We can do this. We're right here. This way. Pass when you look like. Actually, wait, hang on a second. This is really important. Behind this door is the closest the player ever passes backstage. They'll be right behind a wall. And I, I don't know what the wall's made of, but I do know that it's not really cheap. So, you're going to have to be very quiet. Okay? Oh, the same thing. Can jump. Um, just down the steps. Yeah, that's good. That's the mansion in there. I didn't want to tell you, but we actually lost the player for a minute earlier. I mean, I mean, they're back now. It's fine. We're good. But they, they completely vanished for a bit. Which, thinking about it, might be a fairly good argument for not pressing the switch. Mark, I know. In any case, here's what we need to do. The player's going to come down the corridor and call the lift. And once the doors open and they get inside, they're going to press the down button. When that happens, all you have to do is pull the lever on this side. This lift was always supposed to power itself, obviously. This is just a hangover from rehearsals that nobody got round to replacing. Besides, it's fine. It's fine. We've got plenty of time. And actually, no, wait, here he comes, here he comes. Shh, ow, ice front, ice front, ice front. Wait for it. Ready? What are they doing? Why haven't they, why haven't they pressed the button? Did they hear us? Don't move. Now. Oh, thank God, they're moving. No idea what happened there. I think, I think, I think they, they can't have heard us. I hope they didn't hear us. They probably didn't hear us. At least they're on their way now. Actually, they're going to be very busy with the vault. You can start playing in the grounds. We just need to prep some pyrotechnics for the escape sequence and then you're good to go. There's a lift to the pyro workshop up the stairs. If we could just uh, hurry along. No waving. I think we're little breath. You're not into lifts. That's okay, I can understand that. But we really should keep moving. It's not oh. oh my god. Are you okay? Do you do you do you still have your ankles? Are they are they in the correct uh, orientation? Okay, you're okay? You do? That's great. I'm so I'm oh god, I'm so sorry about that. I really this is, well, this is the weather room, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay, listen. Since we can't reach the lift of Pyro, the only way back into the game is through, is through a department called High Concept Miscellaneous Interactions. I don't want to do this thing. There's usually a lot of training involved. But I'll talk you through it. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just brace yourself. Welcome to Miscellaneous Interactions. This is the department that controls, well, it controls a lot of things. Locked and unlocked doors, interior lights, smoke machines, telephone calls, actor cues, laser lights, vault guards, tranquilizer dart strengths, you know, that kind of thing. But it's all just done with numbers. I, I don't know why. And uh, and usually the operator's got this big, um, you know, usually they know what they're doing. But I've got a manual here. I think we'll get through it. Okay. Networking.com. Go. Oh, oh, that's nice. Service, order, eight, leading to a mint shop. Sorry, Technics. Oh, no. Alright, in order to get started, you're going to want to press the number four. Just go right ahead, the number four. Oh god, no, no, that wasn't four. That was like the opposite of four. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I don't think that light's a, a bad sign. Uh, five, seven, two, one, two, one. Um, three. Was it supposed to type that? Okay, so what we did there, it turns out, was the wrong thing. Could you um, could you press nine and then four and then and then one? Did we? Oh, I think we restarted. It's all right. There's a page in the manual about this. Hello. What? What? What did you just? That could have been very important. What did you? Why did you? Ah, I, I 
that's all right. Okay, I found the right instructions. All right, I need you to press the number nine. All right. Let's. Okay, well let's let's just assume that we've got nine sorted, right? Okay, five, two, one, four, four. Wait, no! Hit star to cancel that, and then a two, six. Just ignore that. That's fine, right? Seven, two, left. One, four. Two. Oh Christ! Please pick up the phone. Oh come on! Again? I can't hold it. Is there, my do teeth. you just not know how to use the phone? Alright, back to the board. Hit these four numbers. Two, five, nine. Oh, I guess we don't need to bother with nine. Oh. That sound that I might have told you to ignore, it turns out that it's a very bad alarm. So I'm going to need you to just do a 180 right down the stairs, please. Right down. Probably, I'd probably go a bit further. Move. Here's good. Here's good. Here's good. Now. Oh. Back, back, come on, back up the stairs. A bit faster than that, please. Just a bit, you know. All right, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, do worry a bit. Hit seven, four, then asterisk. Is there a fire at the moment? Right now? Is, there some, is there something on fire? Oh, okay. there is, isn't there? I don't think, really, I don't think any of this room is supposed to be on fire. Please don't do what I think you're about to do. Please don't do it. Pick up the phone and Security. put it to your ear. Like a normal person. Like a normal person who can answer a phone. So it's going. And you'll you'll be able to talk to somebody on the other end. It's really easy. It's really easy. very easy. Hello? No! <laughs> you did what you shouldn't do. Why did you do it anyway? Why? Wait, hang on. We can we can still fix this. We can. I need you to find a blue panel marked downpour. It's turned off, right? I found a way to activate a fail-safe lever to the left of the... Oh no, wait, on the right of the keypad. Right, not left. Don't do the left. Uh, okay, when the downpour panel lights up, I'm going to need you to pull it. When it lights up, not before. Any moment now. Oh, thank God. Did we, did we do it? Badly made fire. The players left the mansion. I think, I think we did it. I don't think it's supposed to still be raining, but you know. Hey, come back down the stairs. Looks more cinematic. You're, you're done here. You don't need to spend any more time in this room. You can forget about the whole thing. This is it. You're done, sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You really helped out. We couldn't have made it through without you. We really couldn't have. Through here. Here we are again. So this is how it's going to work. You go in there. Just give me a moment. I will bring the lights up. And Dr. Langstock, the tiger, and the terribly cursed emerald. Enjoy it. Oh, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. Anything. Trust me, anything on the other side of that door is peanuts compared to what we've just gone through. It's great though, it's, uh, it's really good. Particularly the voice work. Some of the voice work is outstanding. There are about six achievements in this game. It's really good. I can see BAFTA sniffing all over this. Thank you so much. No! What? Another player? You've got to be kidding me. You, I can't, I can't do this again. Okay, this is really awkward. The fact of the matter is... Wait, hang on, where are you going? Right, so, look, I need to talk to you. Okay, that's the lighting room. You need to talk... Okay, fine, this is wildlife trap. No, hang on, this is... That, that's a... Hang on, there's a tiger in there. There's a tiger in there. That's... Uh, no, don't, don't pull that! Wait, no! Oh! Hello? Oh, no. Let's get in.
That was fun. I'll do it. I'm gonna check the achievements now. Interesting. Well, actually, let me see if there's anything special for doing a speed run. So, yeah. If there's anything that if there's nothing special, then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I've learned that you can't do a speed run because the game will stop you at certain points for the narrator to talk to you, which is a little unfortunate, but eh, that makes the game. That was fun. I'm sure there's some additional dialogue, a couple of achievements to get. You know what? That was fun for what it was. So that's it for me.